WT Live coming at you from New York Comic Con with four of my favorite cast members from The Walking Dead. Hey guys. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing great. Happy New York Comic Con. Thanks. Do we Thanks. have any Happy first timers New to New York Comic Con? Me. You. How you liking it? I like New York. A yeah. Lot. yeah. Uh, wait, this is your first time to New York, period. Well, I've been to New York before, but like I never got to explore New York. So basically, we went to the airport. Yeah. As a New Yorker, does that count? Yes, it does. Okay. Well, there you go. You heard it here first. Um, first off, big news for you guys. Tomorrow is the premiere of season 10 of The Walking Dead, and you just revealed at your panel you've been renewed for season 11. Wow. So, very exciting so news. Exciting. Fingers crossed everyone makes it to season 11. Right? <laughs> You never know with this show. Um, you never know, exactly, with this show. But we also got some really exciting news that the lovely Lauren Cohen is going to be coming back as well to reprise her role as Maggie Green. She surprised everyone on the panel. Did you guys know that she was going to be making that surprise? I had no Apparently idea. Apparently they did. Uh, I heard a rumor of it, but I didn't know that she was going to be in costume in the crowd. I just knew that she was going to yeah. be coming home at some point. So I was expecting her to come from the back curtain, yeah. not from the, the audience. Well, we were... So go ahead, I'm go sorry. Ahead. No, no, no. Please. 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 No, I'll take it. After you. No, I'll take it. Okay. No, go ahead. But anyway. Okay, I'll go. So, so I... Okay. okay. <laughs> sorry, go ahead. So what? Please. Josh? No, it's all you. Go for it, If I may. <laughs> so, she was in the Negan Jason costume, and so the microphones where the audience would ask the question was right next to her, so I could see her. And she wasn't moving her head at all. And I felt like she was staring at me the whole time. Yeah. So I was kind of scared. It was creepy. She was like this. Yeah. With the hockey mask yeah. on. Yeah. The, the, it was pretty scary. But then when they asked her to come on stage, I was like, okay, we're doing a thing. <laughs> and then she took off her mask and it was her. So. Yeah, I kind of freaked out that they allowed a, a person with a hockey mask and a baseball bat. It was a Negan bat, right? It was. To get on stage so quickly. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, we're, like, we had to go through metal detectors and all this stuff, but they're just letting this person come bomb on stage sniffing dogs. so quick. Yeah, bomb sniffing dogs. Seth had to, we had to turn around and Seth had to take his bomb back. Uh, <laughs> it was a stink bomb. It was a stink bomb. But we're getting to have Maggie come back into the fold. Are you guys excited to have Lauren back on set? What have you missed most about her? Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. I mean, I think that the, we've all had a chance, except for Judith, yeah. to interact Kaylee. with. Yeah. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm, Judith I'm, I'm, Judith is all, the character that she plays. I'm saying Judith hasn't had a chance to interact with Maggie. That's what I'm saying. But we've all had that opportunity, and uh, she brings a lot of vulnerability and a lot of um, heart to the show. And I really want to see a resolution between her and Negan at some point. I think that's going to be a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah. Karen, how do you think that Judith and Maggie are going to get along? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know because I haven't seen season one through eight, so... Oh. <laughs> yeah. You haven't? No, I haven't. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a little advanced, and it's a it's a lot of episodes to watch. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, this this is what I'll say for you. I think you're gonna love working with her. She um, is very silly and doesn't take herself seriously, but she does take her work very seriously, yeah, much like you. Amazing. Yeah, much like you. Like we're having, you know, we have a good time on set, but when it's time to work, like it's time to work. And I think that uh, you're you're gonna love working with her I'm if excited. you get the chance. Not gonna spoil that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll be really excited. I, I was really excited to meet her. She's really sweet. Mm -hmm. Well, and so while we have one Walking Dead favorite returning, we of course are going to be saying goodbye to Denai Guerrera this season. When you guys found out how Michonne does say goodbye, what was your reaction? I was really, really happy with the way that she leaves the show. I think that they pinned it really well and everybody did a very good job of her exit. And I'm excited. It's very, I don't know, kind of disturbing. Poignant? Neither do I. Oh, it's kind of like I just look, I just heard it's someone a, say that it's word. It's a really, really great exit. Yeah. Really now really I want to go down the line a little bit and see what you guys can tell me about season ten of The Walking Dead. Obviously, no spoilers, and I'm gonna see what they can actually let you guys say. But what's up for Gabriel in season ten? Um, Gabriel is is working on being a community leader. Being an, an entrusted man with a position of 
of power in some say, and um, and what that means to him and how he can be the best leader he could possibly be. And what about Eugene? I think Eugene's in a lonely place. Um, he's certainly still vying for Rosita's affection. Um, doesn't look like it's going to go his, his way, and so he's really just in this place of just like yearning for a relationship, wishing that uh, he could kind of settle down with someone and seeing it happen all around him and kind of feeling left out. It's, um, you know, it's sad, but at the same time, I think he's looking at uh, using that radio to bridge the gap between the communities since there's such a huge dis distance between the communities, so maybe he'll find companionships elsewhere. Yeah. What's up for Miss Judith? Um, so Judith. Season 10, she's, she's working hard, she's training for, like, because you know the Whispers are a really big threat to all of the community, so she's really working hard and training to prepare herself, and I guess she really, she really wants to protect her communities, is what I'll say, because she takes from her mother, and her mother's a warrior, and so I, I think that she wants to be like that, so she's working on becoming a kid in the apocalypse because mm. you know kids in the apocalypse don't really get to be kids because they're in the apocalypse. <laughs> so she's working on her things. And Ross, what's up for Aaron? Aaron is uh, kind of ditching the, the diplomacy uh, that he's, he's known for the first six seasons or five seasons on the show. Um, I, I think after losing Eric and Jesus and Enid and Tara to the whispers in this just horrific way. Uh, I think I think he's he's letting diplomacy go now because he realizes that with the, with Negan and the Saviors there was a way you could um, you could reason with these people to some degree as long as you gave them half of your things they'll leave you alone. Yeah. Um, but with the whispers there's no there's no diplomacy. You you have to meet their violence with violence. Unfortunately, I think he's. He's ready to, to avenge his friends, and he's, he's happy to, much like Gabriel and, and Eugene as well, um, fight for their communities because they, they have to. And the other, the other choice is uh, surrender, and that's going to mean their own death and then turning into the undead, the, the, the horde that Alpha owns. So, yeah. <laughs> well, which actually leads me to my last question. The first thing that I saw when I walked in today was a walker. So someone dressed up as Walker, it was amazing. If each of you could dress up as something in cosplay and go on the floor, who would you choose to dress up as? There's so many options. <clears throat> Throw dolphin. them out. You'd be a dolphin. No, I wouldn't. She loves dolphins. <laughs> dolphins are so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, who would you dress as? Uh, definitely um, Judith Grimes. Ooh, that's a good one. I would be Oh, I like, I like that. Ross, who would you be? I'd be Dolphin Man. <laughs> yeah. Not Aquaman, Dolphin Man. Dolphin Man. Yeah, Seth, yeah. who would you dress up as? I think I'd go with Carl just after having the eye shot out so I could work the eye thing with the hat and the gun before the bite. So Ooh. we've got three Walking Dead characters and Dolphin Man. Dolphin Man. No, How do you know Dolphin no. Man's not on the show? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Season 11. Spoiler alert. Exactly. Wait, why not? Well, I would be... The Walking Dab. The Walking Dab. The Walking Dab. I would be the Walking Dab. You know what I would, I would dress as... I would um, be Eugene doing the Walking Dab. I would... I, then I don't want to be Judith Grimes then. Oh my god! I'll be Young Ray from uh, okay, Star Wars. Well, thank you all so much for sitting down with me. I'm so excited. You guys can start watching season 10 of The Walking Dead starting tomorrow. That is October 6th on AMC.